And now may I present the members of the cast in our new picture, Mad About Music. Yesterday when I came to Switzerland, I was a bachelor. I had no wife, I had no children. Today, of course, I have a daughter and somewhere in the world, a wife. What kind of a girl is she, darling? I am his confidential secretary. Oh, but don't you worry. Your father's still the biggest cheese of them all. It's the most awful lie. Give me a double chocolate ice cream soda. There are 50 reporters downstairs. <laughs> They'd love to meet your daughter. I had to make you up. You see, I haven't any father and I can't talk about my mother, so I made up a father and you happened to come along, so you were it. I know the real reason you came here, Mr. Todd. You came here to see this child you keep hidden from the world. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about! Oh. You wish something for... <laughs> glad to see me that she hugged me till she almost took the breath out of me. Just because she was so glad to see me. And then she stood back and, and looked at me. And then she started to cry. And I cried. Just because we were so happy. I love to with so Cause it makes me merry Makes me feel so very I love to yodel I hope to see you real soon, right here in this theater. Bye. She's a very surprising child in many ways. Yeah. Many, many ways, I should imagine. Read the part about him holding her in his arms and telling her to call him Vincent. You'd be good for her. Remember, she thinks she knows a lot, but she don't know everything. When girls get desperate crushes like this on somebody, they're usually very unhappy for a very long time. Won't somebody please try to understand me? This is, well, it's so, so important. Oh, as pretty as a picture. Has anyone ever told you before? chest. Will you please get off? I'm torn between two fires. Two fires? Hey, Ella. I mean, Alice. What? You haven't sort of changed your mind about, well, you know what I mean, about anything, have you? Well, I knew that one day, sooner or later in my life, and perhaps in this room, I'd have to talk to the young man Alice had picked out for a husband. But I didn't know it would be so soon or that you'd be the man. Oh, cut it out, will you, Gil? Mother, but there's something I want to talk to you about very soon. Yes. It's about being in love. And I thought I... Oh, not tonight, darling. I, oh, but I'm no, really awfully tired. And... Oh, four or five years from now, Bullet will be almost as old as I am. 
But, Daddy, everything will be older then. This house will be older. Mother will be older. You'll be older. And I'll be older. Daddy, you know what I think. Now, look here, young lady. I didn't come here to talk about Bullet at all. I came here to find your mother. Mr. Bullet, I'd like to tell you something else. Well, you told me plenty already. I just want you to know that I'm really not sore. The best man won. <laughs> 